I'm Paul Thomas, and uh, <clears throat> I was born in Goshen, but uh, only lived there six months, so uh, I've been a resident of Elkhart for 85 years. And then uh, there was such a thing called the railroad. The Iron Horse came into Elkhart in about 1857, and uh, of course that killed the riverboat traffic. And we became quite a railroad town until... Uh, next big thing that we had happen was uh, went clear back, but it started real big in the 20s, and that was uh, C.G. Khan. And of course, C.G. Khan is, I'm sure you all aware that that uh, he started a business, uh, as many businesses are started. Uh, you don't know why, but they're started. And C.G. Khan played the trumpet, and uh, you know, back in the, back when we were kids, um, today. The graffiti, some of the things that are done today are destructive. Uh, what we did wasn't destructive. Uh, you can be the judge of this. Uh, back many, many years ago, the uh, inner urban uh, ran up Sherman Street Bridge. And I'm sorry, but I was one of them. Uh, we used to love to grease the tracks so the inner urban couldn't get up the tracks. So from junior high, we went to high school. What was special in high school uh, that's different than from today, and I must admit that it, it, there was quite a bit of difference. Number one, we rode our bicycles to school. We weren't bused uh, in, the low, in the Elkhart City. And uh, secondly, we always walked to school with a group. When, the war, when World War II ended, uh, probably there was more elation and excitement than anything has ever happened. People poured out onto the street, on Main Street, for instance. And uh, I, can re <laughs> I can remember that I had a 1929 Essex, if you can believe that. In, in 1943, I had a 1929 Essex. And we cruised up and down Main Street, and we hollered and hooted and bellered. And uh, it was just one of the greatest things that ever happened. Downtown was a very vibrant place, and uh, there was the Cecil's and the Drake's, and there was three dime stores, and on Saturday night, uh, everybody came downtown, and uh, Dad would lean on the car and, and watch the people go by while Mom shopped, and the kids just ran up and down the street. Uh, one of the interesting things in Elkhart, uh, in the 60s, by the way, was uh, we were one of the few kind of towns known as the city with a heart and two heads. And the reason for that was that we had uh, uh, two fellows, a Democrat and Republican, that uh, tied for votes. But, uh, it, it, there's uh, so many stories about uh, um, Elkhart. I would, I would like to write a book, but uh, I don't think it could be printed. I know too much about too many people. We're standing at the, uh, roughly where the <coughs> Morehouse home was. Uh, he was a banker in Elkhart, and uh, he, uh, he would walk from the bank down to his home. As you can see in the background, the uh, McDonald's. We're standing in front of the site of the uh, old Hotel uh, Buckland. Started out as the Clifton House uh, back in 1862. It was torn down in 1972 after a fire. Uh, it reached... Okay, this is our third room, and uh, this is just what I call my genealogy uh, research room. It just has anything you want from pen and annuals, uh, back to 1900, city directories back to 1860, pictures of every building downtown, notebooks galore of everything from the inner urban to, to uh, Bisher's uh, band instrument factory, and then just many other things to look at as you can see. To our left here we have uh, uh, pennant annuals, which uh, date back to 1900 up to the present time, uh, and then also memorial from the time it was built. And over here we have uh, 
city directories that uh, go back to 1860 up to the present time. So you can look up your great-great-grandfather and where he lived in 1890 and what his occupation was. Okay, and then in our fifth room, uh, we entered. This was the dining room. And as I made a statement before, you had to go through the bedroom to get to the dining room. Uh, this room I call my newspaper room. Uh, we have many, many, many uh, extras, which, uh, 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 as you can see, uh, for instance, President Roosevelt dies, Jap flyers bomb, and uh, so there's uh, many things in here, many radios, uh, and just antiquish things, and old, old newspapers. The, date, the oldest one I have here is 1858, so we do have some old, old newspapers. We're going to go into this other seven-room apartment, <clears throat> and um, uh, this has not been remodeled. This is the way it was when Betty and I started remodeling uh, the Time Was Museum. And uh, so this will kind of give you an idea, and I'm sure Larry will shoot the ceilings and what have you. They were, they're just not, um, they just didn't take care of the buildings like they should have. And that's just about the tour of the museum. and. Um, I gave it to you quickly because I want you to come up.